Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're back out here on the beach up in Fort Gratiot. We're going to go for another flight of the up air, do some testing with it, uh, shoot some video. So, uh, tell you what, let's get going. I'm going to start the, uh, the ground station DVR. So, okay, I'm recording. So, all right, I'm recording. And uh, I think I got everything good to go here, so I'm going to arm the copter. And uh, hopefully, we're going to go. Okay, so we got the copter armed. Let's put it in the air. Let's give it a little bit of hover just to make sure. Uh, let it get some satellites, let it get some compass orientation going on. And then we'll take it over the water. Um, one of the things I want to do is check the ground station. What I want to do is try to get some, uh, sort of like I did with the Phantom, get some uh, ground footage of this. Yeah, I'm just trying to see the... Uh, so I'm going to back it up. Actually, I'm going to move my ground station a little bit. And so I can back it up over here. So I can get it close. And then I want to start the video. So I believe I got video started. Everything is looking good. So what I want to do is uh, stick forward and just race this out over the water and then lift it up. Just like that. Wow. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. So let's, let's uh, bring that back and try that again. Let's bring it down a little bit. Uh, I have to watch with this. I don't put it in the drink. So let's bring it back down. Let's bring it back over Terra Firma a little bit and then bring her back down and try that again. I want to kind of experiment with a little bit of the sticking of doing this, uh, how close I can get to the ground and that kind of stuff. Let me bring this back over a little bit. And uh, so let's, let's bring this down and then. Uh, Let's realign it and try that shot again. So after all, this is video drone, right? So we don't want to run into something. Alright, 360. So we have that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to punch it. And then we're going to lift up. Whoa! I've you know what, Joe? It helps if you push the stick in the right direction. Norbert, that's one for you, buddy. I pushed the stick the wrong way. So, hey, practice makes perfect. I almost put this bad boy in the drink. Good thing I caught that. That should be some interesting video, though. Let's back that up. Let's try that again. Um, note to self, don't want to put the copter in the drink. That's bad. So let's try this again. So let's bring it down. Okay, so we got a nice view. So let's push out and then push up. There we go. That was good. That was good. That's how it was supposed to be done. So uh, again, let's uh, try that again. Move it back over. You know, the one thing in, in between flying this and the Phantom, uh, this does have, it, it is different flying the two of them. The Phantom is, is, is stiffer but more defined, where this one, I, I would say the up air is a little bit more aerobatic than the uh, Phantom in a way. But I'm sure that the Phantom, again, by its app controls and everything, and SDK, is flying more, uh, I don't know if you want to say by the wire than and by the stick if you will. So again, I want to bring this back. I want to try this again. Actually, what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to move the 3D camera. And what I'm going to do, I need to make sure nobody's around or nobody's going to be in the way. So because what I'm going to do is uh, yaw it back. I want to bring, I want to bring it out. I don't trip over the snow fence and I don't want to run this into me either so I've got, got, got it like that so what I'm gonna do is uh, 
bring it back over this way. Want to yaw it a little bit and then just take it out. And up. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I want to save the video, make sure I save the video out. I'm going to start the video again. And I want to bring it back, try the same thing over again. Part of this too, um, I'm practicing a little bit of double sticking, if you will. Huh. I don't know if that's a proper term or not, but uh, in other words, working both sticks simultaneously. So let's go, let's again try to get this back here. I don't got too much on battery left so I'm gonna do one more run so out we go and up now we're gonna keep going for a while for effect and then yep I'm gonna save out the video and I'm gonna restart the video and then I'm gonna issue a return to home because we're starting to get low on uh, battery on this one. So again, we come back. You see it coming back. Always makes me a little bit nervous. See it overshoot? It's overshooting its position. And then it's sort of returning a little bit. So uh, she's coming down now. So let's see how she does. She's coming down awful fast. Now nah, she's slowing up. We'll save out the video before we touch down. We're touching down. Touch down. We disarm the copter. Copter is disarmed. We got all the statistics. So, uh, hey, another great flight of the up air. So very happy with that. We got some good video footage, good experimentation, good stick time practicing over the lake. So uh, give that a thumbs up. Uh, also, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. So, hey, subscribe. I put out regular videos on drones. If you got any questions, hit me up below. And, uh, hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.